Hey guys, welcome back to Flix to Us. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you're returning, and greetings if you're new. We love to have you here. So today, I am going to be watching Bullet Train. I know nothing about this movie other than the fact Brad Pitt is in it, and I'm assuming there's going to be a train. That's kind of the extent of my theories at the moment. I suspect I'll have more by the end. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I don't really know anything about it. I, I've just been hearing about it a lot the, the last couple of months, so I wanted to kind of check it out. Got myself hot chocolate brewed in my special mug. Lightsabers kind of show up with the heat, so feel free to be jealous of me now. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I have no kind of expectations. I, I like Brad Pitt. Uh, I like trains well enough. Uh, I'm just seeing the content warning here. It says alcohol use, sexual content, smoking, violence. So, should be a real fun time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get watching. Holy shit. It's Hiroyuki Sanada. I love this guy. Is he a relative, or...? No subtitles for this, but the subtitles say in Japanese, so I'm assuming we're not meant to understand. I hope that's the case. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear this song in Japanese. <laughs> he is. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Since I've been working with Barry, I am experiencing a calm like never before. Ladybug. Mm -hmm. Your new Ladybug. operational name. Ladybug? Oh, code name. <laughs> Ladybugs are the one type of bug I tolerate. Seems more like his bad luck than yours. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy! And he didn't die. Oh, poor bellboy. <laughs> it's Hero! From Heroes! Good to see you, buddy. Is, is that Quicksilver? Lemon and Tangerine. Oh, uh, Brian Tyree Henderson. That was delicious. Oh. Why does he have a gun? Was someone responsible for his son's injuries or condition? <gasps> oh, it's, um... <laughs> Whoa. You found her. That, um... Joey King? Is, is that her name? Oh, my shit. Oh, oh shit, man. Who the fuck did I kill? Get a wet one on it or something. Oh, it's not his blood. <laughs> Eggs and bacon. Logan Lerman? What am I? Jesus. Is everyone in this movie? My father sent us. You read these words from my father? Oh, easy. Uh -huh. We could deliver you back to your pops in a box. Technically, we're outside contractors. Oh, they're like mercenaries too. Everything I learned about people, I learned from Thomas. Oh, yeah, bring your sticker book. Did I you? always bring my stickers with me. You know that. <laughs> Take Tangerine here. He's a Gordon. This blue one. And Gordon is the strong. <laughs> 16 kills, mate. No, it was 17. Eh, six, seven. Oh. You're starting to get on my fucking tits. 16. I'll smash my fucking head through a brick wall. Maybe that'll help your memory. The it fuck was is wrong with you, man? It was 17, goddammit. What is up with these two? And forever, Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> One. Okay. This is like Deadpool. <laughs> yep. Oh shit. Okay. You okay? Oh, my. Shit. That wasn't our fault. That wasn't our fault. Civilian. Uh, I can tell this is going to be a lot of a lot of fun. Our job is to keep you safe and to recover the briefcase with the ransom money inside. And I oh the money. Lemon, mm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's that shit. Oh, okay. This is going to be trouble in a minute. Yes, of course. I've got the case. You will both be bored at Kyoto <laughs> Station. Then your business with him will be concluded. Oh no. 
The Japanese underworld used to be uh, ruled by a man is named great. Inigishi. One brutal bastard. Then out of the blue comes this six foot fucking six geezer from Russia. Oh. Whispers that he was exiled from the Russian mafia and it was ex-KGB. This must be the White Death then. Oh, this is a fun shot. And what'd he do? Stabbed him in the back. I mean, metaphorically, blew his fucking brains out, didn't he? Ah, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Made an empire worthy of the White Death. That's an awesome mask. There's this soulless psychotic leader with the largest criminal organization on the planet shoved right inside our fucking ass cheeks. <laughs> that motherfucker's definitely a diesel in, isn't he? Uh. And no, he asked for the best. He asked for the two responsible for the Bolivia job. <laughs> Oh. He asked for pros who would. God, it's like it's like that scene in Fargo. All right, so we have like three converging like <laughs> criminal plots here. You still got that vest on, yeah? Oh no, if this give you a false sense of security, you might not get shot in the neck. Sometimes my genius is—it's almost frightening. Uh, I guess you missed that episode of Thomas, did you? I really must have, because that sounds dark as shit. <laughs> I love Brian. He's so good. And slight change of pace. Oh. Oh. oh no. He's dead? The wolf. Okay. Oh, does she die at the wedding? Kill Bill style? Oh shit. What the fuck? What was it? The the cake or the liquor? Oh, jeez! Oh, crap! Oh, okay, just got the phone. Or did someone frame him? I come here for revenge. The assassin who killed El Saguaro. Killed my wife. <laughs> Whoa, it rebounded. Did it get him in the heart? Mi corazón. And he broke his neck. <laughs> He just might have just really bad luck and <laughs> people keep dying. Oh. And it's only a minute each time, so. Joe Berg. Oh, okay, they run into each other. Sorry, buddy. Oh no. Let, let go. What? <laughs> Why was it holding on to. This movie is chaotic in all the best ways. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you didn't happen to see someone come by with a silver briefcase, did you? It's a little train sticker by the handle. Yeah, um, uh, a man with black framed glasses had it. He went that way. Oh, God. The plot lines are all converging. Between us now sits a wall. Mm. Christ. <laughs> but it's an illusion. Uh. Oh, wait, it's, it's a door. Real quick, is, um... Every day is fucking headache with you, in it? Right. Uh, you and your partner. No, I'm lemon these tangerine. <laughs> oh. Let you be quiet. Oh. Oh. You know what, lady? Oh God, they're choking each other out. <laughs> Oh no. Are you following me? Stop! What is up with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. 
Jesus. I'll call the conductor. Eat a bag of dicks, lady. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh. Oh, he's gonna use all of it. She said last time he almost gave someone a heart attack with that stuff. Oh, fuck. fuck. The boom slang. All oh, from the news. Hey, bro. Wanna make an easy 200 bucks? It's Channing Tatum. Was this like a, like a sex thing? <laughs> How did I know he was gonna ask that? Nope. Oh, I was, I was kidding. Uh, yeah, what's up? What do you need, bro? <laughs> uh. Oops. Doesn't have any gun, any any bullets, or. I wonder how he'll do it. Maybe a pillow to the face. Maybe something clever. God. Like an air bubble in the IV. Oh, what a bitch. <laughs> he slapped up by reflex. <laughs> yes, you got Bobby. Yeah, yeah, me too. And the white death son? Yeah, he's there. <laughs> Wave to your oh fucking God. fast, princess. It's like a marionette. God. That's Chekhov's snake. That's like the tarantula in Home Alone. Shoot first. Come up with the answers later. A lemon? Yeah, man. You be careful, too. Hmm. Aw. They do care about each other. I'm just making things interesting. Oh. I'm hedging my bets, you could say. Fuck. If the gun doesn't kill him, the case will. This thing could have blown up in my hand at any point. It's a stupid plan. It is a brilliant plan. It's creative, I'll give her that. Poisoned. The assassin goes by the name of the Hornet. Oh, my God. Oh, oh okay. And there we go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, crap. Bastard. Time for these two to fight. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, I was gonna say this. <laughs> Wait a sec. Is that Kimiko from the boys? I need a better look at her. I think it is, though. It is! That's uh, Karen Fukuhara. Bro, I just remembered I gave all my money to that guy to wear my hat and glasses. Oh. Uh, <laughs> make him pay for the... Okay. <laughs> Go. Jeez. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, okay, there's there's some space, but, but still. It could be important. Oh, okay, maybe it's important. Fuck. <laughs> so, Lemon, he's a little tied up right now. Both of you this time, with the kiss, or everyone dies. So no one gets greedy. Oh no. <laughs> uh. What are the fucking chances that the first swipe is the combination to that briefcase? I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> He's so angry. Call it thing. I'm like, sorry, why, what was that? Why do you even bother trying? I was trying to sell it. I well, I don't think they were in the market for fucking dildos and panties. Ah, well. uh, but. Oh, God. You wouldn't happen to have seen a tiny white prick with a pair of glasses come through here, have you? Oh, the sleeping powder. Is a door. I'm finding it very hard to follow the story. My point is, 
that door He's gonna like kick him out <laughs> right when the door is closed. <laughs> No. Please. I don't know how to use a gun. I don't know. Please. Fuck me. You are fucking. You are really. Got you uh. Afraid of your lips quivering. Yeah. That's a tear. That is really authentic, mate. Like that. <laughs> You're the diesel. Please. How did you I'm not, do that? I'm it's not. really unbelievable. Please, please. Uh, you. You are. There we go. Took a little time to work its way through the system. I thought he'd. But it happened sooner than this. Everyone loves their mouth. Everyone. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're gonna punch your way through that glass. Oh! I was mistaken. Okay. Oh. Is this find my phone app? Oh, surprisingly accurate. Bye. Oh. Hey, what's this? The hornet's been in the costume this whole time? Is it okay? Oh, no! Fuck, that thing is hot. Oh. And Zazzy Beats. Domino from Deadpool. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, no one would really expect an assassin wearing that costume. She's... Oh boy. Oh. You stole my snake, bitch. Oh god. Oh, oh no. What, someone paid you to have the kid killed with his own ransom? Wow, that's dark. That, that is, actually. The hornet stings, bitch! Oh, lady, you can have the case. Oh, but you've seen my face, bitch. She's very mean. <laughs> there we go. Goodbye, Zazzy. It was fun seeing you. <clears throat> oh. You oh. bitch. Uh -oh. oh, the anti-venom. Back up. What do you think, bitch? She keeps calling him bitch. What is she, Jesse Pinkman? <laughs> well, and it, it's really unfortunate because he was only in that position because Brad Pitt, you know, dosed his water. Feel really bad for Tangerine, actually. Breathe, deep breaths. We're almost there. You just need to get up. Is that Eva Mendez? Right. That sounds like Eva Mendez. My brother. Oh, they were brothers. Oh, damn. That's so much sadder now. I thought they were just friends. There is no one left on the train. I know. I bought. Every ticket until the end of the line. What about her, though? I know you. You're that girl, aren't you? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll never forget her face, mate. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, fuck off. Oh. <laughs> the sticker. Are you okay? Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> oh, good job, Lemon. You made lemon bleed, and lemon never bleeds. Oh my God, Mr. Bleed! Oh God, damn it! No. What happened? What the fuck happened? That was fucking tangerine. God damn it, bread. What? Holy shit! That's a lot of blood. God damn it! <laughs> Make the next stop. We'll be fine. Oh man. 
Tangerine and Lemon are my, like my favorite characters. Whoa, look at that fog. Oh. Hiryuki is here. He'll solve everything. Somehow. Chekhov's snake has been fired. Oh, down the toilet. Oh! He's oh. nice. gonna flush it down. Okay, someone at this hospital has to check out why this guy's just been standing outside of her room this whole time. Someone's pushed off her roof. What makes you think I would leave him unprotected? Yes. Oh! Oh, yes. oh, good job, nurse. Oh, fuck yes. Finally, some good news. You're not gonna believe this coincidence, but I already got a dose of anti-venom in me today. That's true. So. I guess it's good for a couple hours or whatever. Here we go. The Elder. A long time ago. I made a promise to myself that I would provide for my family Aww. no matter what it cost. That's him with his son. I had risen to a highly coveted position within a Turkish crime family. Oh. A man raised up to take my place. A man from the north. Oh, he just worked for that boss. Okay. Whoa. Uh. Oh, his wife died. The white death had taken everything from me, almost. Yeah, the son survived. Do you know what they call a ladybug in Japan? What do they call it? Tentomoshi. As a boy, I was told there is a spot on his back for each of the seven sorrows of the world. It holds all the bad luck so that others may live in peace. Oh, it's like a sin eater type of thing. You let me worry about the white death. Okay. Anyone can handle the white death. It's Ujio from The Last Samurai, okay? <laughs> Man, there's so many cool, like, backstories to these characters. Oh, oh. oh God, he's alive. Still, you haven't seen it. Wow. He's alive? Did that sleeping powder have any effect on, like, his blood flow or something? Because he was shot a couple of times. The vest. He was wearing a vest. Fucking vest, man. Aww. Damn, I mean... Yeah, Tangerine is still dead because there's no covering up a shot to the neck. Oh, I'm glad one of them is alive, but damn, it's still sad. You. Is he Thomas? Or... You're more like Thomas anyway, right? Oh, man. When you point a finger at someone in blame, there are four fingers pointing back at you. Three. That's weird. Fuck it off! <laughs> okay, let's get the a look white at the, death waits for the you. white death here. With his army of assassins. Aww. Killers from all countries. I fucking love those sort of like samurai-like masks with like the demon features. They're so cool. Is that him? Wait, death. Who are you? God damn, it's Michael Shannon. It's General Zod. General Zod is the White Death. <laughs> oh, this is so good. 
And what is her connection to all this? Like, did he kill her family or something? Deutschke. Not yet. I didn't understand what they said, but like, is that his daughter or something? And to make you finally see me. It is her dad. <laughs> Wanted her to be a boy. Was he impressed or just, you know, didn't really give a shit? Oh, oh shit, everything's in Japanese. <laughs> it's in Japanese. There is no episode in Japanese. What the f? <laughs> no episode. Uh. Brought you on this train, oh, hoping you kill each other. Okay. Well, um. Wow. Why? Fate put two wet work operatives, twins, on a job in Bolivia. And now he asked for the two responsible for the Bolivia job. Oh, it's all coming together. Fate put my wife in the hospital. A piece of her rib. Where the hornet killed the doctor. If you hired the hornet, you had your own kid killed? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, well, yes, I did. Oh, disappointment. But she promised. It was the last time we would ever bail him out of trouble. Here will come. Oh. Mr. Carver. Oh. He's a villain for Carver. Bro. Oh. You happy? I'm not Carver! Oh. Carver is Deadpool. There we go. He does have a cane sword. Yes! <laughs> We're going. <laughs> train fight, train fight. <laughs> He cut through the chair. I need a hero. Oh no. Get it. Grab it. Oh. Let's fucking go. Oh, look at this beautiful man. Just slicing through these bitches. Oh my god, he's so badass. <laughs> Hiroyuki Sanada fighting Michael Shannon with katanas on a bullet train. We cut him in half! Um. Oh no. I mean, I, I kind of thought this would happen, but... Oh god! Whoa. Hey! And I'm sorry about Tangerine! Yeah! Oh. Damn. Fuck it. Yep, just. There we go! <laughs> The water bottle. What? Uh, mate. Yeah. Uh, I want bubble milk tea. How about wagon wheel? This bottle has been through so much. Man, this sequence is so creative. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh no! This poor neighborhood. That fucking costume. <laughs> oh my god!
I would say it's ridiculous he's still alive, but it is Michael Shannon, so he gets a pass. Fate can be a real oh, fickle bitch. Come on! Just let it go, bro! Oh. Out, call me, bro! <laughs> okay. Uh. Blew his goddamn head in half. There she is. Oh my god. <laughs> my luck that delivered my father's corpse um. at my feet. The narcissism on this ch She's terrible. I I am the white man. Those fucking tangerines? Is that karma? Is that karma? Well, well, Tento Mushi. You think those are goddamn tangerines? If that isn't karma, then I don't know what is. <laughs> Maria? Take the gun. Oh my god, did you just say what? We're almost there. You Sandra just need Bullock! To get up. Did you come to rescue me? Did you need rescuing? Oh, she looks, she looks great. We're gonna see Barry in like a in the credits. He's like fucking Samuel L. Jackson or something. Nice car. Yes, it is. Yeah. Try not to bleed on. No, the car. He needs me to find a smart toilet. I take that back. Can you hold it? I'm ball pointing. God, that whole suburb is wrecked. That's why I'm telling you, I just want to sell it. He'll have survived. <laughs> Maybe somewhere around here. Oh. Okay, I got him. No. Tangerines. Fuck. It's fate. Fuck you, diesel bitch. Diesel bitch. Take a fucking bow. Ah. Ah, you guys, that was pretty good. Oh my god, that movie was insane. First off, the cast, just like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, was just insane. There were so many recognizable actors and cameos. Uh, and it was it was fun seeing Kimiko from The Boys actually speaking for a change. That's always kind of a treat. But man, like what an all-star cast! I mean, like Brad Pitt. I mean, still doing like he he's pretty like you know active and say like in terms of like stunts and whatnot because he he's like what like in his fifties now like mid late fifties like he's he's doing good. I mean you know that shirtless scene in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood that was he's got a good physique going on. But yeah, he was really good and and oh my, I mean like Michael Shannon was in this and. Hiroyuki Sanada, like just so many great actors <laughs> giving really good performances. And yeah, like, I mean, like, he, he, it's almost unfair, you know, having Hiroyuki Sanada in this movie because I just love him in any, anything ever since, you know, The Last Samurai. He was really good. Michael Shannon's always a favorite of mine. He always just, he's like perfect as a villain. Like, that man was born to play, like, menacing. <laughs> But, I mean, like, the standouts for me were, like, Tangerine and Lemon. Like, those two, like, they had such good chemistry. Like, Aaron Taylor Johnson, like, you know, he was really good in, in, as Quicksilver. I still wish he had, you know, stayed Quicksilver through the MCU. That would have been a lot of fun. And uh, I liked him in Godzilla. And um, and Brian, Brian Tyree Henderson, he is so, so good. Like, he's playing an assassin here who's, like, murdered countless people. But he always has this, like, like empathy that he brings into his characters like like i mean he was in godzilla versus kong that was that was pretty good but i mean the his favorite favorite performance of mine is you know into the spider-verse where he played jefferson davis like that scene where he talks to miles through the door miles you know sort of webbed up so he can't talk but you know it's after after uh you know the the uncle dies but it's like the, that that's one of the most emotional scenes in all of say like animation or like just like in movies in general like it's just like the heartbreak in his voice like the, the actor just, just does so good at just injecting emotion into his characters. And here was really good. Cause like at first, you know, he, those, those two are just say like, you know, the, just say like witty, you know, back and forth, like kind of assassins, they had the sort of funny dynamic. And then, and then they're sort of, you know, like busting each other, each other's chops and whatnot. But then as the movie goes on, you sort of, there's a, a little bit kind of more, there's like a much deeper like relationship to them. And then, 
like when uh, Tangerine, when they split up, when he when he sort of tells him, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you be careful. Like, you know, you can tell that there's like a lot of emotion between them and whatnot. And and just at first you think they're they're friends and whatnot, but then the whole like twin thing, like people kept assuming they were twins. And at first we think, oh, it's just like a funny gag, you know, just because they're obviously not like say like blood related, but. Um, you know, that's funny for a minute, but then it's like, oh, they say about the brother and we think, oh, it's, it's a joke. But then we flash back and we find out they actually are brothers. They're like, say adopted or, you know, uh, stepbrothers or whatever, but it's, it just made those scenes, you know, towards the end when we thought that lemon was dead, you know, that much more emotional. Cause we saw tangerine just like, you know, like it just, it broke him. He, he was so emotional over that. And it, you know, it makes us, you know, the viewer emotional. And then, you know, he ends up dying, and and it's just very unfortunate because he was like this close to getting the bitch that did it. And then, yeah, it was certainly a roller coaster there because like we think Lemon's dead, he isn't. Tangerine is dead, and 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 yeah, just the, I mean the, the the stuff with like Thomas the Tank Engine, like you know, it, it's like a funny sort of you know ru- like uh, like running gag you know through the movie at first, but then you know the writers are talented enough and the actors are talented enough that it really becomes kind of an emotional kind of callback when he sort of, you know, like, like sticks the, it, it's like, you know, cluing Tangerine in when she, he sees like the diesel sticker on, on uh, the Prince. But then when he puts the, the Thomas, you know, sticker on, on him, when he finds him, it's, it's one of the sort of sweetest moments in the whole movie. And speaking of Joey King did a fantastic job here. I hated her character so goddamn much. She was so good at just being like smug and, you know, like just like like threatening, you know, A, pushing a child off a roof and B, threatening to kill him, you know, if, if, if his dad didn't do what she wanted. Like she was very just like, say, smug and vicious. And, and then just with the whole like fake sympathy, like, oh, my God, you know, I was kidnapped and just that whole shtick, you know, she did like she like fooled almost everyone with with that, you know, and um and oh, it was so good seeing <laughs> seeing her uh, get like a, such a karmic death, you know, from the tangerine truck. And then we find out Lemon was driving makes it just perfect. And it's ironic, actually, just because like, you know, she said that, you know, my dad, my dad wanted a boy. That's why he called me Prince. And that's sort of why she was a disappointment. And as we learn, that's why, you know, her dad's the white death and she wants to kill him. But, um, you know, and he, he almost it's interesting because like he almost seemed like he respected her like a bit like uh, what she sort of went through but then if there was like a brief moment of that then you just sort of you know cast her aside like he like he did before but it's like it kind of re- reminds me of um like Tyrion and tywin in game of thrones you know like the the father always wanted to say like the ideal heir but all of his children were disappointments with the exception of like especially he hated you know Tyrion or whatever but ironically Tyrion was kind of the best one suited to succeed him but then there's you know drives sort of the dramatic irony and whatnot and it's like you know like she was one of the most skilled people on this whole train in a train full of like highly you know accomplished <laughs> uh, assassins and killers like she fooled almost everyone at some point like you know she was because he was like the most feared you know crime boss in the, in the world i mean tangerine said he sort of had the biggest organization but like she proved herself like in, in the end by the end like every bit as like say vicious and cunning and conniving as he was. So it's like, you know, she's kind of the perfect child for him, but he just didn't kind of acknowledge that. So that was kind of a neat angle. And then like the plot was like so intricate, but at the same time, it was kind of like segmented in such a way that it's all kind of like, like very palatable or like easy to follow. Cause at first there's a lot of elements going. I mean, there's like just with say like the main assassins that we follow with like the Prince with Tangerine and Lemon. And then with uh, Ladybug, there's say like three main kind of paths that we're following, but the movie does a good job of like, you know, like a quick cut to some sort of backstory or like a element ex- explaining what they're talking about or what they want. And then say moving on. And there's enough of those elements through that. Like, it's it's almost like a Lego set. It's like as each of those flashbacks, which I I I loved all of those like say flashback like you know sort of backstory bits. They were really just well done, like um like not quite say like short films, but just like perfectly kind of encapsulated bits of like okay, this is what the character is, this is who they are, this is what they've done. It's a good kind of backstory for them, but it's like the whole movie is like is like. The, it's like a Lego set of those. It gives us each of those elements. And by the end, we've built the whole thing and we get the whole picture. So then when, when Michael Shannon kind of puts everything, everything together, we're like, Oh, okay. All of these elements have been sort of intertwined, you know, the whole, whole way through. And this is how like, and, and then of course, just the, 
the like cherry on top for that for that whole for the whole plot really is the fact that like what the last element was was Carver, the one who actually killed the White Death's wife. And it wasn't even fucking Carver. It comes back to the fact that he was filling in and it was Ryan motherfucking Reynolds who actually killed her. And and actually, you know what? That reminds me of Deadpool 2. Because Brad Pitt was like, you know, like a you know, split second cameo in that one <laughs> as Vanisher in, in Ryan's movie. And now Ryan gets to be a cameo in Brad's movie. <laughs> Which is just really, really hilarious when I think about it. But no, like this it's like a very like intricate, very just crazy, like balls to the wall plot, but it all came together really well. And that whole climax, like as insane as it got, like just, you know, the, there was nothing out of, out of reach, you know, in terms of like the train derailing and all the different like deaths and whatnot. But it's like that whole climax was insane. I was so invested in these characters and yeah, it just, it really kind of speaks to everyone's talents for their performances. And, and yeah, like in terms of like setting it, you know, reminds me of Train to, Bus- train to Busan because it's, you know, 95% on the train and whatnot. And But as, uh, instead of zombies, you have assassins. <laughs> oh, this is so, so good. And yeah, like just seeing all those goons and those masks, masks made me think of the uh, the demons in uh, Insomniac's uh, Spider-Man. Uh, amazing? No. Just yeah, Insomniacs like Spider Man for PS4 that that gang sort of had the you know the Chinese sort of demon masks and whatnot like those I've always loved that whole like aesthetic like like you know samurai armor with say like a demon either half or a full mask like it's just a really cool look and it works really well for say like a yakuza sort of like criminal modern day type of thing because those guys look badass with like the black and the red and whatnot and. Yeah, the, the, this that's one thing this movie is just bleeding. It bleeds style. There's just such a style. Like, just probably my favorite shot. Well, I should say two of my favorite shots in the movie. Uh, one of them, actually, yeah, they sort of bl- blend into each other. But one of them is the whole sort of, like, wide pen. When we go through kind of the, you know, Yakuza compound, seeing all the guys di- dying as when the White Death takes over. And then the other shot, which is, like, they sort of repeated, which I thought was cool, was the White Death in that red mask, you know, like, just doing this with the revolver and then with, like, the the, ra- the water and the fire. Like, it was just a really cool, it was, it was like a painting. It was just such a cool visual uh, for, the, for the movie to kind of keep kind of recurring, which I appreciated. But like everything was like visually just like in it was just like, like it was like a feast for the eyes there was just so much going on all the time but uh but it never really felt overwhelming at least you know not to me i mean i'm i'm sure there's some people out there that are sort of for them this movie would be too much but nah like it, it had like you know it had humor it had crazy good like action um you know it had like the the music was good too like i never thought in my entire lifetime i would hear both um you know bgs and then um you know, I need a hero <laughs> in, in Japanese. That was really fun. Like when, when those songs kick in, I'm just instantly just kind of like bouncing in my chair, just, you know, having a good time. So like the music, the, the song choices were really good that way. And I, I just love how like the, in keeping with the theme of uh, and the setting of being in Japan, you know, we just sort of have the Japanese covers of, <laughs> of, of, uh, you know, those songs. But oh, that was so so good. Uh, oh, I can see why people people have been kind of talking about this one, and 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 yeah, like the only thing I can really think of is like a not a complaint, but just like a critique or whatever. But like a, it it just bugs me sometimes when movies have like extended or you know like say, um, longer than like longer than quick sequences where people are say speaking and like other languages. Cause like there's, there's certain say like words um, and cer- maybe certain phrases that like people would hear. Like if, you know, if someone says like da and they're speaking Russian, we know, you know, that means yes type of thing or whatever, but it's, and we can sort of infer more or less what they're talking about through say like emotion of the actors and whatnot. But it, I still would have liked to get kind of the subtitles for like the Russian and, and the Japanese, just, just because there was like several sequences of each, it, if it was like background dialogue or just like, you know, like, like one line or whatever, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be as, uh, I wouldn't be sort of commenting on it as much, but it just, I, I just wanted to know more. I wanted to know kind of the full extent of what they were saying. I felt like I was missing out a little bit, but, but apart from that, this movie was quite excellent in terms of the, the quality, like the, you know, the, yeah, like it, it fired on all cylinders. This was, <laughs> this was really good. But uh, yeah, if if you want to watch the 
the full length of my reaction. I'll put a link down to our Patreon below. You can check out this and all the other movies and shows that we do. Uh, please stay tuned. We do kind of post stuff through the week, and there's lots of exclusives on our Patreon if you want to check that out. Uh, should be something there for everyone. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. It really helps the channel grow. I know you're probably sick of hearing this by now, but it it, it really means the world to us. Any and all support is welcome, and we, we just sort of love the fact that you guys have been with us so far. And if you're new, greetings. Uh, this is our channel. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully you'll kind of stick around for the future. And uh, yeah, that's all we have for you today. So. We'll see you next time. Bye.